Good morning, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate decoding WeFax transmissions, which are WeatherFax uh, transmissions over HF. The software I'm using is from Black Cat Systems. It's brand new. It's called HF WeatherFax. It is a paid for app. I believe it has a 30 day try before you buy uh, unrestric unrestricted trial. So you can check out all the features of this app. And if you decide that you like it, you can purchase it. The purchase price is, let's just take a look here, is $20. And this is for Windows and Mac. There's going to be five links in the description. It's this way you guys can follow along with this video. Uh, the first link is going to be this decoder. The second link is going to be the discount link. So this way you can get this app for... 10 bucks, which I think is a steal of a deal. The third link is going to be the Worldwide Marine Radio Facsimile Broadcast Schedule or Schedules, and it's updated, I believe, monthly. I'm not 100% sure, but the link never changes. That's a permalink, and you can just check the date here. And it's going to have all the different stations around the world and the frequency that they transmit on the time and what is going to be transmitted at that time because you have different uh, things going on that they'll transmit. You'll have uh, surface analysis, air prognosis, all different kinds of stuff. The fourth link is going to be to signals across the pond, which now host all of my frequency banks for SDR Uno. And I have all the WeFax frequencies already placed in a bank for SDR Uno. So if you still want to go to this PDF just to see what's going to be transmitted, you can, but the frequencies are already there for you. And then the fifth link is basically how to read these charts, these weather charts. And this first one here, how to read a synoptic weather chart is fantastic. It, it's an old video, about seven years old, but the information is still relevant. It's very good. So these are the five links that are going to be in the description. Setting up SDR Uno, as you can see here, I'm uh, decoding a satellite image here on HF. Setting up SDR Uno for decoding anything that's on HF is done with virtual audio cable or VB cable. There's a previous video I did that shows you how to set that up. Just go to your RX control settings tab, go to out and select the virtual audio cable in HF weather facts, you select your input device as the virtual audio cable. You don't have to change anything here. You can leave all these settings at default. The only settings you would probably change or adjust is the offset. Whereas if you decode mid transmission, it's not going to be in sync. This black line here is possibly going to be in the middle and you can adjust that offset or you'll have a, a slant where the the vertical bar here will be on an angle and you can adjust that slant. But this app, you can pretty much just set it and forget it. Just park it on a frequency and it's ready to go. A really cool feature uh, built into this app is the built-in schedule. And it's going to populate a list of what's transmitting now at the current time. So what station? So Tokyo, Seoul, uh, Japan, California, and the frequency. You have to set up SDR Uno in upper sideband. It has to be upper sideband with a filter width of about 2800, which is perfect. And there's a few things here. The frequency that's published is, I believe that's the carrier frequency, but you want to go 1900 below that. So you have two tones. Now I have to load up Notepad. And what it is, the, the two tones are 1500 hertz, which represents the black pixels, and 2300 hertz, which represents the white pixels. And everything in between that is gray, especially as you can see here in the satellite image. So if I zoom into the AUX SP, I should see two tones. One at 1500 and one at to do 2300. So here's the 1500 tone 
as you can see here it's showing about 1505 and here's the second one where is the second one that should be at 2300 which is should be about here and it's there's nothing there but that's okay if you look at my main SP you can see I have a lot of noise a lot of fluctuation in the noise floor and one really good feature with SCR Uno is decimation so the frequency is 8502 I'm going to decimate it's this way I don't have this in band bouncing so I'm going to decimate by 32 and I can actually crank up the gain a little bit more without getting an ADC overload which I'll do now and as you can see it's still decoding everything is going just fine so let me stop the decoder let's clear it and let's find the frequency and start a new decode so New Orleans was on 8502 we can see that here let's see if Boston is transmitting okay let me zoom out uh, that should be one right there so let's decimate again 9108 100 so decimate still on frequency and let's take a look at the decoder click start and we'll let it do its thing now as I said the the two tones 1500 Hertz and 2300 Hertz so here's the 1500 here's the 2300 and just trying to line them up as best as you can another really good feature about this app is the ability to define the save folder of where these images are going to get stored so what I do usually in the morning is I'll park this on a frequency let it run and I'll come back to a folder full of decodes and let's see if I can show you mine and here's a couple here's one here and in my opinion I think it's pretty cool I like decoding uh, weather fax images I usually use the we fax transmissions to pre uh to gauge propagation i'll use we fax stations i'll use volmet stations and i'll use time stations along with uh the amateur radio beacons but i like checking the we fax because there's it's like dx there's stations that are out in europe and the pacific that are not easy for me to pick up and i like to decode the these transmissions in the morning i'm I can usually pick up the Pacific and at night I can pick up Western Europe or the UK and Germany uh, for me here in South Florida so in the morning let's actually see if I can get Japan what time is it it's 10 in the morning let's see if we can get Japan or Korea might have a good shot at that and if not no big deal nope no propagation this morning for me let's just keep checking and let's go back down to the US station let's see if California okay California is coming in and let's run it let's see very weak And we're off frequency so let's line that up that has to be at 2300 Hertz we're at looks about to be 18 so we'll go down it's really really weak let's see if the they're propagating on the higher frequencies all right that's a little bit better Nope, not strong enough. Let's uh, check. We'll see New Orleans. I believe we did this one already. OK, 
Okay, here's one right here. So let's bring this down. Make sure we're at 23. That's 24, so we'll go up by 1. That's perfect. And we'll run the decoder. Clear the screen and click Start. Now, as I said, we're in mid-transmission, so I don't know if it's going to sync up properly, and we might have to adjust the offset where you'll see a black bar. It might be in the middle of the screen, and you just shift that over. It's very weak. Right, let's see what happens now. Hmm. Right, let's go back to New Orleans. Our propagation just took a massive dive. All right, well, I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, hopefully this helped you. As I said, this is a paid for app. I personally use this all day long. And thank you to Chris for providing me with the serial number. And truth be told, he gave me the app uh, serial. Uh, not for the purpose of this video. Uh, I've been working with Chris, giving him uh, some feedback on this program, and he's been implementing uh, new features actually on a weekly basis. So kudos to Chris and Black Cat Systems, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And as I said, there's going to be about five links in the description uh, for you guys in reference to this video. 73, and I'll see you in the next one.